So today we're taking a look at a whole bunch of phone cases for the new iPhone 16. I always find it interesting when any product from two different brands comes in packaging that looks very similar to each other. So we're gonna start right here. I was not familiar with this brand before I picked up this case to show it to you. It's Tori. The packaging is also very similar to this other brand, Tokol, or Too Cool with not quite enough O's. But either way, I think this is a really interesting implementation of screen protector, camera protector, and case all in one. So this one is the clear variety. It is MagSafe compatible. It is really nice and clear and a nice rubberized coating. Also inside of this package, you are gonna find some customization stickers, some guide stickers, two screen protectors, two camera protectors, and they also include this guide, which helps you perfectly align the screen protector so that it fits as it's intended to. Overall, I think this is a really great way to simplify the things that you need to pick up with your new phone, case, screen protector, camera protector, all in one package. A lot of people are wondering how these different third-party case manufacturers are implementing the new button on the iPhone 16. This one from Tokol is going with an opening. This is MagSafe compatible, feels pretty good. It's got some grip on it, but it's not too sticky. Today we're checking out this new case for the iPhone 16 from Tokol. It's also very similar in packaging and in design to this other brand, Tori. We'll take a look inside and see what's a little bit different. This slides out of here and you've got two compartments on each side. Over here, you're gonna have a aligner to help you install the screen protector that's included with this, which I think is great. Inside, we've got some guide stickers to help us align that screen protector, a microfiber cloth, two cleaning pads, and this is a squeegee. Now let's have a look. This is exactly the same as that other one. And then in here, we've got two glass screen protectors. Over here, we've got some stickers to customize. These stickers are different than the Tory package that I opened. And here is the case itself. This one is MagSafe. It has a translucent back. I really like this because when you do get one of the phones with some kind of color, it does show through a bit. Looks like there's a lot of protection up here on the camera bump, which I'm someone who likes to put my phone down with the screen facing up, and I like having that extra protection. Also, the fact that this case wraps around the edge of the phone so that when you do put it face down, it's not the screen that is touching whatever surface you're putting it on. I have a few scratches on my screen right now as a result of testing some other cases that didn't have that bump. So, Tokol, Too Cool, however you say the name of this brand, this is not a sponsored video. I do like the feel of the case. I think you've got an interesting thing going here where you've got the screen protectors already included and a whole kit to install them, making it just one thing that you need to add when you are picking up the new phone overall. This one looks pretty good. So if you're looking for a rugged OtterBox alternative, this new case for the iPhone 16 lineup from Temden might be the one for you. I really like how it has full protection of the camera, including extra lens protectors, fully sealed charging port for those really dusty and salty conditions. And this one is a two piece case that fully encloses and double seals your already water resistant phone. So I picked up this very basic case for the new iPhone. This one is clear plastic. We've got rubberized sides around here. It does have MagSafe. The new button will be accessible through this opening. I can get my fingertip through there to be able to make contact with that. And we've even got just a little bit of a camera bump to protect our cameras. So I got a new case here for the new phone, the new iPhone. This one's from Spider Case. Now they make them for all different manufacturers. This one has nice big opening for chargers, MagSafe compatibility, camera protections, and even an opening for that new side button which my finger is making its way through to have that gesture control. So here's the new kickstand case for the new iPhone from Spider Case. This is not a sponsored video. Here's that kickstand, folds right into the back. We've got MagSafe, camera bump protection, plenty of room for various size chargers, and an opening big enough 
to be able to make contact with that new gesture button. Feels pretty good, and they say that this doesn't yellow. New phone, new case. This one is from Spider Case. This is their kickstand case, which will hold your phone up vertically or horizontally. We've got MagSafe compatibility, as well as full camera protection and an opening for that new gesture button, and even plenty of room to plug in different accessory cables that might be a little bigger than the usual ones. Overall, looking pretty good. If you like really beefy cases like from Otterbox, this might be a great alternative for you. Open this one up. Now this is a case that includes screen protector and it's full rugged wraparound protection. It's actually a couple of parts. So taking a look at this, we've got button on the side for your side button. They've done an opening and indent for that new button over here on the iPhone 16 lineup. You've got all of your volume and action button over here. Now take a look, we've got screen protector as a total front cover and you're gonna pop that open. And very similar to OtterBox, it's multiple parts where your phone goes in and then, and then clicks in. Here we've got a cleaning cloth. I don't wanna peel that plastic just yet, but I do wanna get rid of this little thing. This is gonna be a privacy protector as well. On this side, we've got a clear back so you can see whatever the color of your phone is. We are MagSafe compatible. This camera bump, there's a little bit of protection here, but your camera glass is still gonna be a little bit exposed. But even with most of the rugged cases out there, there's still you know, that sort of opening. Uh, so just something to think about. You can see that big opening for that new button on the side, which gets closed up a little bit more when this goes together. Now this is a more rigid plastic, and then this is a more rubberized bumper on the outside of here with more rigid plastic on the back. It seems that these two part systems do a really great job of shock protection. So if you're someone who likes to throw your phone or drop your phone, or you work in a rugged environment, this might be a good one for you. But when it's all together, there's enough room to get in here and you can see my finger is poking through that opening. So you will be able to do all the new gestures on that side button that is new for the new iPhone this year. New phone, new case. Here is a really basic clear plastic case, plastic hardback, rubberized sides for shock proofing, plenty of room for most chargers. We've even got a little bit of camera bump protection on this one, and they have chosen to go with a hole here on the side for that new gesture button, and it looks like, yep, my fingertip does make it through for contact. New phone, new case. Here is a really basic clear plastic case, plastic hardback, rubberized sides for shock proofing, plenty of room for most chargers, We've even got a little bit of camera bump protection on this one, and they have chosen to go with a hole here on the side for that new gesture button, and it looks like, yep, my fingertip does make it through for contact. Here's a new shockproof case from a company called Mira Case. This is not a sponsored video. I picked this up just for you. This has front protection, back protection, and even camera glass protection. This is a two-piece case. So your phone will go in with that for your screen protector installations and it all snaps together. They even close up the charge port so that you don't get any dust or anything in there. And even the new gesture button has its own special protection here on the side. Well, if you get a new iPhone every year, then you know you gotta get a new case. So I picked up this one, ESR Hybrid Case. Comes in a bunch of different colors, as you can see. And they've got a full range for the new iPhone lineup. Taking a look, we've got hard plastic. We've got some rubberized bumper sides. It does have MagSafe compatible. And over here, we've got a little area for a lanyard to go through. And my fingertip is getting through this opening that they've left. So I'm pretty confident that you'll be able to do those gesture controls. We've even got a little bit of extra protection for your camera bump up here too. Feels pretty good in the hand. And you've even got some grip back here, even though it's harder plastic. This one comes in a bunch of different colors. So far, looking pretty good. Here is a very basic case for the new iPhone 16 lineup. This is a clear, and they say that this does not yellow over time. 
You do have MagSafe compatibility. There is a sort of rubberized edge to this, but the back is smooth and easy to get in and out of a pocket. This one's interesting because it's two parts. So the front of this pops off and that reveals an even more rubberized interior bumper for extra shock protection. And then it all snaps together like so. I've been wondering on all these cases, how is each manufacturer implementing this new side button? Because it isn't just a button like the other ones, you actually can do gestures on it, which means your finger needs to either make contact or the material that they use for that button needs to be different than the other ones. So that's what I'm taking a look at. And it looks like my finger does make it through.